Hey, what's up guys? Alex here and what we're going to discuss is how to make risk-free profit in a nine-way futures market, ACC conference champion. So obviously, you know, Odds Jam focuses a lot on two-way markets, so two-way arbitrage. Here you can see Patrick Beverly assists. There's an R between BetMGM and FoxBet. If you have both of these sports books, you can pull up an arbitrage calculator and earn a risk-free profit. So all that arbitrage is is it's looking for line inefficiencies between two or more sports books, placing bets on each possible outcome, right? So you can see right here, Pat Beverly is either going to have over 3.5 assists or he's going to have under 3.5 assists. And based on this line discrepancy, you can earn a risk-free profit of about 2.4%. But you can also do this in futures markets. So this is a nine-way market, and we are going to find arbitrage. Um, so we went over this market yesterday, actually, in the video yesterday, and we identified Pitt plus 175 on Bet Rivers and Miami, Florida plus 1200 on MGM as two good betting opportunities. But what we didn't discuss is you also could have bet on each possible team in the ACC across different sports books and guaranteed yourself a risk free return over 2%. That's arbitrage, right? That is arbitrage. You're capitalizing on differences between sports book odds to earn a risk free profit. So the first thing we need to do is go through these four different sports books and see which books are offering the best odds. So for Pitt, we see the best possible odds you can get are on Bet Rivers plus 175 to win the ACC Conference Championship. Um, for Wake Forest, the best price you can get is plus 350 on FanDuel. So then what we do with each of these odds after identifying the sports book giving you the best price is we convert these odds into implied probabilities, right? So for example, for Pitt plus 175 on Bet Rivers, you put in plus 175 into an odds converter calculator right here. And you can see that the implied probability of this odd is 36.36%, which is what we have right here. And then for Wake Forest, the best possible price is on FanDuel. So when we're arbing this market, obviously we're gonna be betting on Wake Forest on FanDuel. And you can see that FanDuel is giving you plus 350 odds. So you convert that into an implied probability, 22.2%. And then you sum up all of these implied probabilities, right? For each and every possible outcome, each and every team in the ACC, we find the book offering the best odds, convert that odd into an implied probability, and then we sum them together. You can see that you get 0.9755, right? If this number is greater than one, then you can't arb the market, right? So for example, if FanDuel was only giving us plus 300 on Wake Forest, well, then you could bet on Circa, let's say. But let's say, you know, instead of plus 175 um, on Pitt, if Bet Rivers was giving us plus 150, the implied probability would, you know, go up to 0.4, and then the sum of probabilities would be greater than one. So we would not be able to bet on multiple sports books on each and every outcome and guarantee ourselves a risk-free profit, right? So you want this number to be below one and we can see in this example, the number is below one. You take the odds, the best possible odds for each and every team from these four sports books, you sum together the implied probabilities, you get 97.5%. That means you can bet on each and every outcome and guarantee yourself a risk-free return. If you are betting to win $100, you only have to um, bet a total of $97.55 to get back your $100, um, or to, to earn $100. So your risk-free profit will be $245. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna say, okay, for each of these teams, here's the best possible odds we can get. We're gonna convert these odds into decimal odds. So again, you can use an odds converter calculator. So plus 350 American odds is 4.5 in decimal odds. So we're gonna say, here are the best possible odds on each of these teams in the ACC, and here's the sports book where you can get those odds. And we only looked at you know four sports books here um, because they were offering the best prices, but if you have access to other sports books, you can include more bookmakers in your calculation. It's always good to have more outs, um, because obviously if I didn't have a Bet Rivers account, for example, then I wouldn't be able to place this ARB because I'd only be, be able to get plus 135 on Pit on Bet MGM, right? So we convert these odds into the implied probabilities. We figure out which book is offering the best odds, and then we can calculate 
are risk-free profit. So to do that, all you do is you divide $100, we're taking the base of we're betting to win $100, and you divide that by the decimal odds for the given team. So for example, you know, the best price on Pitt is plus 175 on Bet Rivers. that's 2.75 in um, decimal odds, and then you do 100 divided by 2.75. And you can see that we need to bet 36, 36 on um, Pitt to, uh, in this arbitrage calculation, right? So for Wake Forest, you do 100 divided by 4.5, Miami, Florida, 100 divided by 13, the decimal odds. And what you can see is what this calculation does is it keeps our net profit constant, right? So we will always earn 245 in net profit following this formula, right? So you're converting the odds into decimal odds and you're doing 100 divided by that. We're betting to win 100. So you can see here, you know, the formula is telling us to bet 36, 36 on pit plus 175 odds on bet rivers and our net profit would be 245. So our net profit is 36, 36 times 1.75. That's what we're staking at plus 175 odds. So if pit wins, we're going to earn you know, 36, 36 times 1.75 minus all of these other bets we're going to lose, right? If Pitt wins the ACC championship, Wake Forest isn't going to. These are all equal and opposite outcomes. If one team wins, the rest of the teams don't. So um, our bet on Pitt at plus 175 odds on Bet Rivers would win. So we would earn a profit of 36, 36 times 1.75 right? We're staking 36, 36 at plus 175 odds in all of these other bets we would lose. So you can go through the math and you can see your net profit would be 245. Now for Wake Forest, it would be the same thing. We would win, you know, 22, 22 times 3.5, right? We're staking 22, 22 at plus 350 odds in all of these other bets we would lose. Again, our net profit would be 245. This is the arbitrage calculation formula, right? So again, you're converting, you're picking out the best odds for each team, converting that into decimal odds, and then you're doing whatever you're betting to win, so $100 in this case, divided by the decimal odds to figure out your stake for each team. And what you can see is this keeps your risk-free profit constant. So regardless of what happens, regardless of what team wins the ACC conference championship, we are going to earn 245 in risk-free profit right? And our total stake is 97.55. So for every 97.55 we bet on this ARB, you know, we are going to be earning 245 in risk-free profit. So you can tailor this to your bankroll if you're betting bigger, if you're betting smaller, you know, all you're doing is you're changing around this number, right? The 100, which is what you're betting to win. So regardless of what happens, we will earn a risk-free profit of 245. So that's arbitrage. In this formula, you know, it can be applied to any market. So if we look at this Patrick Beverly ARB, which was on Odds Jam, earning a risk-free return of about 2.4%, you'd do the same thing, right? You can take the sum of the implied probabilities. So we're getting Beverly under 3.5 plus 110 on Fox Bet. So the implied probability is 0.476. Beverly over 3.5, the implied probability is 0.5. These are equal and opposite outcomes. One bet has to win, one bet has to lose. So the sum of implied probabilities is 97.6%. If all outcomes are summing to an implied probability less than 1%, arbitrage exists. You can bet on two or more sports books, equal and opposite outcomes, and earn yourself a risk-free profit. So the formula is exactly the same. It doesn't matter if this is a two-way market, a nine-way market, a 10-way market. As long as you have every possible outcome and the outcomes are mutually exclusive, so here, one of these teams has to win the ACC championship. And here, you know, Patrick Beverly, he's either going to have over 3.5 assists or under 3.5, right? One of these bets has to win. One of these bets has to lose. And it's the same for this ACC conference champ. One of these bets has to win. Somebody has to win the ACC. Um, and the rest of the bets have to lose. So it's the same thing. You're looking at books. You're figuring out which books are offering the best odds, converting that to implied probabilities. If the sum of those probabilities is less than one, you can bet on equal and opposite outcomes to earn a risk-free profit. And we went through this example to show you exactly how much you have to bet on each and every team, on each and every book, 
to guarantee yourself a risk-free profit of 245 for every 97.55 bet, right? So, you know, on FanDuel, we'd want to bet 10 cents on Louisville, and that would guarantee that that would be what's guaranteeing us a profit of 245 given that we bet this on every other team. So, I hope you found this video helpful. Um, of course, this is much harder in practice, right? These are 10 cent, 20 cent, 66 cent bets. But the point is more just example um, and to show you how you can capitalize on arbitrage opportunities on sports books. And again, you can tailor your stake to whatever fits in your bankroll. Maybe you're betting less, maybe you're betting a little bit more. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions about arbitrage and multi-way markets or about the Odds Jam Arbitrage Sports Betting software, you can reach out to us. And thanks so much for your time.